Point four. We're going to look at like three or four more examples, and then we will do finish this tomorrow also, because there's like 14 things in this section. Okay, let's talk about solving exponential equations still. So let's say we want to solve um, 2 times 3 to the 3t minus 5 minus 4 equals 11. We might have, did, we might have done this one yesterday, where we add five, 4 to both sides, okay? So 2, 3 times 3t minus 5 equals 15, and then we divide it by 2, okay? We're going to continue doing this from yesterday. And then you get 15 divided by 2, which is 7 and a half. Okay, and you do log base 3 to 3t three minus 5 equals log base 3 to 7.5, so that this cancels, right? Yes. <coughs> and then you get, um, yeah. That's right. And then I would get uh, 3t minus 5 equals log 3 to 7.5. So add 5 to both sides. 3t equals log 3, 7.5 plus 5, and then you divide it by 3. And we would get our answer of plus or minus there. We're going to continue with exponential equations with quadratic form. So let's say we have e to the 2x. Okay, and then you have um, minus 3e to the x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, we have to factor this to solve. That 2x basically is saying that it's squared up there, like if I had x squared. So that means I need to set this up into a factoring. E to underscore this. And I would have e to the x, and I would have e to the x. Because when I multiply, I add the powers, okay? And what multiplies to give me positive 2, but adds to give me negative 3? So it multiplies to give me positive 2 and adds to give me negative 3. Mm -hmm. So I would set this up as minus 1, minus 2 equals 0. Okay, And then to solve, you have to set each section equal to 0. So e to the x minus 1 equals 0. And I get e to the x equals 1 here. e to the x minus 2 equals 0. And you get e to the x equals 2. Okay, From there... You have to take the natural log so that you can cancel out E and get an actual number solution, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say natural log of um, E. Is the answer not good? I didn't think it is this. I just had to put my calculator to figure that it out. Okay. So natural log of <coughs> EX, e x equals 2. If I move this, what I'm doing is I'm going to divide by E, which is dividing by natural log, so that you get X equals the natural log of 1, X equals the natural log of 2. Okay, when I do that, I can then put those um, answers into my calculator to figure out what they are. If you take the natural log of 1, you should get 0. So x equals 0 here. If you take the natural log of 2, you should get like 0. 0.69. So x equals 0. 0.69. Okay. So I get two solutions, and I can check them with the original solution to figure out if they're actual zeros by graphing it. Um, on my graphing calculator. You can do it either way. Let's say that you have um, 
natural log of x equals 3. How do I go about solving the natural log of x equals 3? How do you go solving that? Um, you do what? Yeah, I need to change it into E. So I need to say ln of E to the X equals E cubed, like we did yesterday. Okay, equals E cubed. So then from there, this will cancel, giving me X equals E cubed. And then I can plug that into my calculator and see what X is congruent to. Yep. So when you do that, you should get like 20.09, something around there. Okay. Then we're going to look at other ones that are similar. Let's talk about how do I solve the natural log of 3x equals 2. How do I solve the natural log of 3x equals 2? How can I get rid of that natural log again? With e. I'm going to take e and raise it to that power. I take e and then this becomes, this becomes my base, this becomes my power. Equals e squared. This cancels, leaving me with 3x equals e squared. Okay. From there, you're going to divide by 3. And you get x equals 1 third, because that's the same as dividing by 3 e squared. Okay. And if I figure out what that is in my calculator, 1 third e squared should come out to about 2.46. So this is congruent to 2.46. <clears throat> like I said, we're just going to do a bunch today. Now, let's try um, one where you have log and stuff on the same side. Let's say I have log base 3, and I have 5x minus 1 equals log base 3, okay, of x plus 7. How do I solve this? How do you solve that? Yeah, the logs automatically cancel, so I can just set this and this equal to each other. So I get 5x minus 1 equals x plus 7. I add 1, subtract x. 4x equals 8. I divide by 4. x equals 2. Okay? If they have the same base, you can just set their unknowns equal to each other. It makes it super simple for us. Um, okay. What happens if I have 5 plus 2 natural log of x equals 4? How would you start to solve this? What would you do first? Um, not my first step. Oh, you could subtract five. Subtract five first. If I subtract five first, I get two natural log of x equals negative one. Now what do I want to do? Nope, not yet. Divide. Divide by the two that's in front. So I have ln x equals negative half. Now I can do the e. I'm going to take it and say e, the natural log of x, equals e to the negative one half. This cancels, giving me x equals e to the negative one half. From there, you can plug it into your calculator. e to the negative one half. Should give you something along the lines of 0.61. That's going to be congruent 
2.61. Okay, a couple more. This section has a lot in this chapter. Let's solve 2 log base 5. of 3x equals 4. How do I solve that to start with? What do I do first? <coughs> Divide. Good. Divide by 2. So that I have log base 5 of 3x equals 2. From there, what do I do? Can't divide again because I have log base 5 of 3x equals 2. Can't divide yet again. First, I have to get rid of this. E goes with natural log. So if my base is 5, I'm going to take the number 5 and raise it to the log base 5 of 3x. And then I take 5 and I square it over here. So the only time I use E is when it's natural log. Whenever it's a uh, logarithmic function, I, whatever the base is, is what comes out so that it will cancel. What about the 2? 3x equals 2. Yes, right here. The 2 becomes 5 squared. The 2 oh. has to be raised to that also. Oh. So I take the base of 5 and raise it to whatever this side is as well. So then that cancels, and I get 3x equals 25, because 5 squared is 25. And I divide by 3, and x equals 25 thirds. Okay, so when it's not natural log, you have to look at whatever the base is, and that's the number we use. Okay, one more, and then we'll save the next four for tomorrow. Let's solve natural log of x minus 2. And we're going to say that it equals, oh no, plus the natural log of 2x plus 3. I'm going to set that equal to, and I'll use that. I'm going to set that equal to 2 natural log of x. Okay, we need to solve this. So, give the natural log of x minus 2 plus the natural log of 2x minus 3. Um, are we just going to get rid of all the ln's? Not, yes, eventually we are, yes. Here's the deal. What do we know about this when it says plus? They're together. Yeah, they're together, but how? How do we put them together? This plus should tell me I'm doing some type of operation. Multiplication. Multiplication. So that means I have this going on here. x minus 2 times 2x minus 3, like this, yes? With this, I can now FOIL so that I can factor things. What's x times x, or x times 2x? 2x squared. 2x squared. And what is x times negative 3? And then negative 2 times 2x. And then negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Okay, so now I have this. And I'm going to combine like terms so that I have natural log 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 equals 2 natural log of x. Okay. From here, I can do something to this side. What does this 2 actually mean that I have? Uh-huh. So I'm going to change it to an exponent so that it says the natural log of x squared. Now look, this here and this here are the same. They're the same base. What base is with those technically? E. E. So I can just drop those now. That's how I get rid of them. I drop these because this section here and this I can set equal to each other. From there, I'm going to subtract an x squared so that I get 
set equal to 0. x squared minus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Now I can factor. What multiplies to give me positive 6 and adds to give me negative 7? <coughs> positive 6, negative 7. Negative, negative. And what numbers go there? Yep. So then x minus 1 equals 0, meaning x equals 1. x minus 6 equals 0 equals 6. I have two possible solutions. That's where we're going to stop at.